I sit here as a boy mum. I have a 19 month old toddler. You know, part of me yeah. is just reacting <laughs> on that level of hearing what you said about what your body and mind were screaming at you when you're lying next to this man who's an adult and everything in your body, your fiber, your cells is, is trying to protect you. And I'm thinking as a mom, how do we make sure that when boys have that reaction, you know, and girls, that they have a voice, they have a place to go to where they feel safe enough to explain what's happening. It's not just about resilience, it's about everything about what you experienced was saying this is wrong and you had, didn't have the language, you didn't have the, the words, and you felt most likely you would never be believed anyway if you did have that language because of these individuals who were just trusted implicitly because of their positions of power. Yeah, that's incredibly important. I'm so glad you mentioned that. Sexual abuse is an adult phrase of language. It's meaningless to a child. Sexual abuse wasn't in my vocabulary. I had no framework for understanding why this guy, director of a camp, uh, married with his own child, would be tearing off my clothes 